Trey Strelko, sons of UCF. Throughout preseason camp, UCF football head coach Gus Malzahn said the team was practicing late game situations. Well, first road game of the year here in Boise comes down to a last second Colton Boomer field goal, and it is good. Knights victorious 18 16. Let's hear some of the most notable sound bites from head coach Gus Malzahn and players. Proud of our team. I just told our team, I'm so proud of them. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Our coaches, we got to do a better job, okay? And we will. There's a lot of stuff to correct. But it's hard to win like that. I mean, if you face that many up and downs and had a chance, the place was rocking and the offense went down there and kicked the field the last play of the game. That is the type of win that will help us as a team later on in the season. And we can build from that. We can grow from that. I but. mean, when we got into position, I really wasn't nervous because we've been straining the whole fall camp. Like, this has been my hardest fall camp I've been in in college. This is my fourth one. This has been the hardest one by far. We've been put in a lot of positions. Like, we're tired, so we have to go down there and make big plays. So I wasn't really worried. I, was just, I just knew I could count on the guy next to me. And I just knew that we were blessed enough. And we just been prayed up the whole fall camp and the whole fall preseason. And the first game, I just knew we were going to come out and make a play. And win the game. Boomer. And what can you say about Boomer? Uh, you know, 50, 50 yard, uh, 55, a 50 yard field goal. And at the end, with the game on the line, you know, 40 yards. And he drilled it. Uh, no, I was just focused on the process. And I just felt the Holy Spirit just in my body. Just that supernatural ability to let that ball boss is upright. So. It wasn't really anything crazy. It was just another kick, but I mean, it definitely helps when the, the louder they cheer, the better I do. So, <laughs> you can keep it coming. Fifth out amazing. Because Boomer, he's he's one of a kind. He, when they come down to it, he's he, he's going to come through. So, it felt it felt amazing. What about the defense in the second half? You guys were able to get more penetration. Yeah. You were able to get to the Well, we got it for the quarterback. I think we were a little more aggressive with our, with our calling, but we were able to get the quarterback a few times, and then that really helped. We got him behind the chain. We still gave up. A few, a few big plays, some, and the stuff that we gave up, it was more self-inflicted. Like they didn't do anything special. It's either we would bust the coverage or somebody would be out out of our gap. But just coming in the second half, we just had to lock in more and just be more like attentive to our detail. He got hit pretty hard there at the end. Is he all right? Yeah, Tom he Rice? got hit big time hard. Yeah, I mean, I that that, that blows my mind. I mean, uh, I don't know what targeting is anymore if that's not. I mean, that was wow. I mean, what did you see from John Rice Plumley? He had a couple interceptions last week. He's got a couple that will go on the stats for this game. Uh, but That was on me and Javon. We're going to work harder, and we're going to make sure next time the ball ever touch our hand, we're going to catch it. So all those picks he threw today was because of us. I felt like that we was in position to make a play. We just didn't make it. So next time the ball hit our hands, we're going to catch the ball. Two games into the season, the Knights are 2-0, and including an important road win at Boise State. We've got you covered all week long on the Sons of UCF YouTube channel, podcast, live show, and website in Boise, Idaho. I'm Trey Strolko, Sons of UCF.